Hi, this is David Stearman, and you're listening to my Up Podcast. And today I want to talk about how he crowns the year with his goodness. Lots of prophets get a special word to share with everyone for the upcoming year, which is a great thing. I didn't, probably because I'm not a prophet. I mean, I do prophesy sometimes, but my general flow is something different. But that aside, I do have a word you can claim for 2024, because it's a word you can claim for any year. King David, praying in Psalm 6511, tells God, You crown the year with your goodness, and your paths drip with abundance. Now that does sound like the Lord, doesn't it? So what's God's will for you this year? That. His goodness. He wants you to have a good year, full of good health, good friends, plenty of money, safety and security, and happy times. And how do I know this? Because God is good, and He's good all the time, year in and year out. So His will for you will always be for good things. See, that's what the gospel is. That's what it's all about. Good news of good things. Mark 1.14 tells us that Jesus came into Galilee preaching the good news of the kingdom of God, saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is here. Now, I've talked about this in lots of other podcast episodes, so I don't need to belabor it here. But the bottom line is that the kingdom of God they're talking about in this verse is the very same one Jesus talked about in Matthew 6, 9, and 10 when he instructed us to pray like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now, a kingdom is where a king rules, right? Where the king's will is done. And since God rules in heaven, his will is perfectly done there. And what's his will look like? Well, in heaven, everything is good. So we know that's what God's will looks like. Good things. And Jesus is saying that we should pray for those types of things to be done in earth as they are in heaven. That God's good will would be experienced down here just as it is up there. After all, these things are God's will. And that's why Jesus went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Why did he do that? It's simple. He did it because he wanted the sick people well. He wanted them to experience God's good will, which was, and always will be, good health. After all, that's why he took those stripes on Calvary, right? So that by his stripes, we might be healed. Healing and health are good things, so we know they're always God's will for us. While Jesus was on earth, he also preached, as recorded in Matthew 6 and other places, about how his Father wanted to meet our material needs in abundance because it's always God's will for his children to have good things. As Jesus says in Matthew 7, 11, If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Starting in Matthew 6, verse 25, he says, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. So here we see God wanting to meet our material needs, but he wants to do even more than that, because he continues, So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Can you catch God's generosity in this? His magnanimity? Solomon was the richest king Israel had ever had. And Jesus said God wanted to clothe us like him. God's heart of generosity is boundless. As much as we'll accept and believe for, we can receive. God is a good God who always wants us to have the best. That's why Jesus continues, For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, 
and all these things shall be added to you as well. And Jesus tells us to seek first the kingdom of God because material things aren't all the things that we need. We also need spiritual things. We need to have righteousness to be put in right standing with God, which he provided for us on the cross. Not to mention spiritual gifts and everlasting life and all the fruit of the Spirit and all the good things that are of the Spirit. He wants us to have those good things and he has provided for us to have them in abundance. And yet added to all that, there's even more good news. Our lives have purpose. God has plans and dreams for us to fulfill while we're still here on earth. Things he wants and needs for us to do. Ephesians 2.10 tells us we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God planned beforehand that we should walk in them. Yes, God has dreams for you to fulfill this year. Dreams he's already planned and placed deep within your heart. As Psalm 37, 4 so eloquently states, Delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. God does want your dreams to come true. It's Bible truth and it's good news. As Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So what's God's will for your life this year? He wants to prosper you, to give you hope and a good future. His will for you is to be happy, healthy, blessed in every way and productive. He wants all and only good things for you this year because that's who he is, a good God. So again, he crowns the year with his goodness and his paths drip with abundance. That's what he wants for us this year. And I'm not saying it's automatic, but if you will dare to trust him for it, if you'll speak the word and stand for it, this promise will manifest in your life and you'll walk in it. And he wants that for us because that's who he is this year and every year. So believe God's promise, stand on it, and expect good things because God has good things planned for you in 2024. Hey friends, as you've heard me say many times, our ministry is a missionary ministry. We teach, train, and evangelize in lots of different countries. But the thing about going to these places is that you don't get paid for doing it. That's why we need partners, folks who join hands with us to enable the spread of the gospel. On the donate page of davidstearman.com, there's a link that says donate here. If you tap on that, you'll have a choice to sow one time or monthly. If you feel led, choose monthly to become part of our regular partner family, helping us take God's word to a needy world. Thanks for listening, and God bless you.